So practice for the week this week was all about playing triplets over the extended pentatonic pattern. Let me show you how it got on. I could have been a bit more fluid, I think, but, but it's okay. Actually, that's one of the hardest ways of playing triplets. It's much easier to play triplets just using a standard pentatonic shape. Um, like this, let me show you. So there you go. Uh, the standard pentatonic shape is definitely what I'd use in a, in a gig if I was doing something like this. Um, the whole point of this was as an exercise to start to, to blend the extended pentatonic pattern with the, the standard shape as well. Um, there are some benefits, there is, there is a reason why I, I do uh, this extended pattern and it's all to do with the, um, the mechanics of playing scales on the guitar. There's a couple of uh, interesting subtleties about uh, that happen when you start to play scales. Um, the, the first one, I guess, is, is about the number of fingers that you can use, that you can bring to bear on any scale. So, for example, if you're playing a, uh, a chromatic scale, you can use all four fingers of your left hand and you can get up to some quite... quite easily hit, hit some really quite fast scales if, you, if you're doing that. Uh, the reason being that uh, each finger is only involved in one in four notes. Uh, similarly, if you're doing uh, just a, a normal diatonic scale, a major scale, or a minor scale, you end up using three notes of string. So again, uh, you can get up to some reasonable speeds. Um, the next type of scale is a pentatonic scale, and the standard shape of the pentatonic puts two notes of string uh, on. And the problem with this is you can only play as fast as you can trill. Um, so uh, pentatonic shapes tend to be slower than diatonic shapes, major scales, and they tend to be slower than chromatics. Um, the final thing that you can do is play one note of string, uh, and that's, uh, that's an arpeggio. Uh, or, or that's how it maps out on the guitar, arpeggios tend to be one note of string. And you can play those, you know, as fast as you can strum. Now, now the challenge with an arpeggio is not how fast you can play each note, it's articulating each note. Uh, the, the challenge of an arpeggio is in the, in the string damping, not in the playing of the strings. Um, now when you bring that to, as I say, the, um, the pentatonic shape is probably one of the slowest shapes to be able to play on the guitar because you're always involving one of two fingers all, all, all the time and, and so each finger is involved in every other note. There is an additional problem with the pentatonic shape if you use a pick, which is you tend to end up with your pick heading in the wrong direction if you're, if you're doing alternating picking. So you, if you're going up, up and down the strings, you'd be sort of going down, up, and now your pick's heading away and you've got to skip over and hit. Uh, and, it, and it feels awkward to pick. Uh, so, the extended pentatonic pattern gives you a way of getting around this in that what you're doing is you're alternating between three notes of string and one note of string. So you're alternating between, you know, playing, a, playing as you would a diatonic shape and then sweeping as you would an arpeggio. So, so the extended pentatonic pattern tends to allow you to play much faster runs than you'd be able to do if you were just doing a normal, uh, a normal pentatonic shape. The, the, extent, the exception to this is um, when you're playing triplets. 
the, the problem with triplets is you tend to you tend to be using the same finger over and over again as you're going through groups of three. that there's actually no benefit with using the extended move pattern than there is just a normal. Which is why it becomes such a good exercise when you uh, use it on something like an extended pattern because you want to try and get your, your playing uh, as even and as fluid as, as it, you can when you're doing the difficult stuff uh, and that does have a carry over to the easiest stuff as well. Um, so anyway, uh, that's what I've done this week. Um, I think I'll stick with some technique type stuff for next week as well. It should be interesting, maybe, maybe arpeggios or something like that. Okay, I'll see you next time.